what's up y'all it's me erica it is today's wednesday what is going on what's going on with this camera angle y'all know i'm always trying to get the right camera angle is this okay it's gonna have to be let me get my cup of coffee um go ahead and like subscribe comment down in the comments to let the diva know you stopped by if i decide to premiere this this is what y'all need to do Y'all be in the chat, but close the chat, boop, close the chat, and then hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down. You know, whatever, how, however way you feel. Um, let me make sure this damn camera is secure. Um, so go ahead and do that if I premiere this. So that means that you're like the first one to see it as soon as it posts. I don't know how this camera, I don't know how I feel about this camera angle. I'm always trying to find the right angle. Yes. Okay, so what's going on? You know what? T told me to watch the last two episodes of the Braxton Family Values. Y'all know I don't watch the Braxton Family Values because they, just those two episodes, stressed me the fuck out. I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> Do y'all watch the Braxton Family Values? Oh my God. Tamar and Tracy are exhausting. I mean, oh my God. Now, who's the oldest? I don't know. Is Tracy the oldest? Or is Tony the oldest? Because, oh my God. Okay, so these episodes, they were in Napa. And I'm, the, I'm just looking, because I haven't watched it in so long. So I'm just looking at the dynamics of the relationships and how physically how people have changed how they have all changed i know that trina is on sister circle and i was like i didn't know gabe had died i was like where have i been but i felt like i knew gabe died but forgot that he died or something i was just like i, I don't remember <laughs> i'm i feel bad because i was like i don't remember but he was a fucking asshole to her anyway then I'm like, she's physically changed. Like her physical, she's more, she's like, she doesn't look, you know, when they first started, I, I think I watched the first few seasons, like sporadically. I wasn't really like dedicated to the Braxton um, family values, but wow. Good Lord. Tracy and, and Tamar, they are exhausting. They are they're exhausting dude i was like first of all they went to napa they were in like i guess for tamar's birthday and Tr tracy's birthday is like a week before that i don't know who threw the party i'm not familiar i don't know who threw whose idea was it to go to napa for tamar's birthday and what did they do for tracy's birthday i don't know but tracy Tamar and her boyfriend, that was the first time he was coming around, I guess. And she was acting very controlling and treating him like a child. I was like, ooh, like, you know, I'm not, you know, you know me, I'm not about like stroking anybody's fucking ego, but bitch, you was treating that nigga like a child, like covering his mouth. Who, who does that? And if anybody were to do that to Tamar, she flipped the fuck out. Like, I don't know. I was just like, so I cr was cringing. And then dude seems like he's trying to be um, nice, like just trying to extend pleasant vibes. You know, this is the first time I'm meeting this family. Y'all don't know the history of these people. Y'all, I don't, I don't, but I just don't understand. I don't understand how I'm watching Tamar in her damn interviews and I'm like she has to be exhausted when she goes home at night because she's she's she has a consistent mask on like girl who are you all that fucking makeup that Tamar be having on like bitch are you about to go on a stage somewhere like I don't it's just a, it's a Tamar is a mess like oh and then I'm the, I was just like okay so they're like, 
I'm looking at Tracy. I'm looking at Tawanda. I'm just Tawanda with this acting like how old is Tawanda? Why are you trying to get pregnant? I was just like, what is going on here? Tawanda's I didn't know she had a new boyfriend. You know, I don't keep up with them, so I don't know nothing about nothing about nothing. So I'm like, okay, everybody got new men. And to me, it seemed like all the men really care about them. Like they really seem like they care about them, honey. You just never know. But they seem like they care about him, they care about them. And I, the um, Tracy's husband, I never seen him before. And you know, they've been married for all these years, but I've never seen him. So I'm like, okay, so how did they convince him to start filming? You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, that shit is crazy. I was like, Tamar was really like grabbing shit out of his hand covering his mouth and what is it that she needs to control this narrative like does she not want him to know that she's a fucking childish brat spoiled brat and then the boyfriend Tawanda's boyfriend why would you even why would you and then why does Tawanda act like she don't have no problems with anybody and she I don't I was like Tawanda ain't she ain't ah I don't know about Tawanda like don't act like you don't have no problem. Tony is so sensitive. Tony comes in there like, I already can feel the room is off. I already. Tony isn't like Tony can tell when the damn frequency changes in the room. Like she's like, okay, this is. And then the, and then why are y'all calling? Why are y'all calling Birdman? Birdman? Like what is his? Isn't his name? What the fuck is his name? What the fuck is uh, his name? I don't even know his real his fucking real name. I have to go look it up. I t I feel like I do. I feel like I know his real name. I don't know. But anyway, I'm like, why are they calling him Birdman? And why are they asking her all these personal questions about him? It was just weird. I'm like, they're weird. They need to be off of TV. Like, but they've been documenting everything. And I'm just like, I couldn't believe Tamar. I was like, Tamar is an evil little something. And then the dude so. Tracy's not Tracy Trina Trina's boyfriend or fiance this like OJ type AC Callings type nigga he seems to like really like Trina and he wants to propose while all her family is there because evidently the family doesn't get together as much as they as only when they're filming that's crazy to me that is absolutely crazy to me that they only they only are like they really only they are really co-workers like Tracy was like you're just my co-worker Tawanda something about Tawanda that I think she's like sneaky I don't know like I said I don't watch the show or anything like that but I don't like the way that Tawanda steps back like she don't have nothing to do with anything um and it's like I don't know what it is about Tawanda, but that's what she, she, I, I feel like she steps out of it and like tries to distance herself from the foolishness and it only contributes to the issue because the way that Tracy was talking to her, like you son of a, you called her a son of a gun. Um, I feel I, when I'm looking at Tracy and Tamar, they act just alike. They act just a fucking like when, when, they were in the they were in there and the um Tawanda's boyfriend who's cute by the way he said something about getting the sisters together and this and that and she was like doing all this Tracy and I was like oh that's Tamar so that's what I was trying to figure out is Tracy the oldest because it's like the oldest child and the youngest child no the youngest child and the oldest child both acting out trying to be seen They act just alike. They mirror each other. And that's why, maybe that's why they just can't get along. They just don't get along. And they probably see, seeing each other what they don't like about themselves. You know what I mean? So, I'm like, okay, Tamar. Tamar is rude as fuck. Her, the boyfriend, Tracy's boyfriend, not Tracy, Trina's boyfriend proposes to her. Because, you know, all the fam. That's what I got from it. You know, I didn't know that there was etiquette about a birthday party. I always thought you don't propose to somebody at somebody else's wedding. I didn't know that it was at somebody's birthday party. Like, I, I don't know. And then for her to be upset that they're wishing Trina 
happy birthday not Trina Tr with Tracy I get them fucking mixed up Tracy's um birthday party and then like having an attitude because her husband said happy birthday to her like I, I, I the amount of child behavior that Tamar demonstrates is so exhausting and like her expecting Gucci bags what did she say I get Gucci bags. like all of this uh-uh no I don't know like Iyanla said they allow that girl to act like that it was, and but they look like they're tired of it like just let her be herself like and maybe I don't know what it is that Tamar wants from them and it just seems like Tracy is they say Tracy's holding on to something do y'all think Tracy's holding on to the fact that they went on and had careers and she had a baby like you you didn't have to have a baby but maybe she felt like she had to because are her parents like preachers or something like that or in the church maybe maybe she just resenting the whole thing and I don't know I was just like Tamar and Tracy act so much alike I mean like really act so much alike and they can't stand each other but then when Tracy or Trina gets proposed to and I thought his proposal oh my god oh you know y'all already know how I feel about marriage but I was like now that is how you propose marriage like this is what this is the proposal this is what I this is what it is and this is the reason why I want to marry you and I'm proposing marriage to you will you marry me this is my proposal right this is a business arrangement this is my proposal <laughs> that was a good proposal I was like okay um AC I don't know their names <laughs> I don't know I'm like okay I see you um that was a really good proposal he, oh, and then that, the, let me tell you the reason why I liked his proposal I'm going to tell you why I might offend some people there's nothing worse for me to see a woman plan her proposal I hate it I hate every single second of it I hate it because it's not supposed to be you're not supposed to know it's supposed to be a surprise and oftentimes men get it wrong they do it at a at a time when the woman is being recognized for something and they take that moment away from her and then do it in front of a whole bunch of people and then she's almost kind of forced to say yes because your ego is so fragile and she doesn't want to say no in front of a whole bunch of people but be that as it may his proposal was really really nice and it was surprise it was she was surprised and that was a dope ass exchange but for tamar to have live stream that shit i was like this bitch is out of control not only did she live stream the shit i was like oh like when tracy said it make you make it so hard to love you like girl and I think that what's left, the shred of respect of what's left is because they're blood related. Because I think, and I think that's why so many people stay in toxic familial relationships is because you feel obligated to do that. And for so long, people feel obligated to stay in toxic family relationships. And no money that they're making for that show is worth the damage the emotional damage that they continue to put themselves through because they don't outside of filming they don't deal with each other so now you have these women coming together back again in another seven or eight months every seven or eight months we're filming but we didn't resolve the issues from last season like they really need reunions they really need a reunion and they need a psychologist as the host of the reunion because or therapist or whatever because they come back every it's like going off from you know coming back to school with the bitch you had a problem with last year y'all didn't y'all didn't settle it y'all didn't fight it out y'all didn't do whatever i was like that's the problem they're not gonna heal because nobody's talking nobody wants to talk to each other i was like this is crazy to me but guess who they learned all that shit from their mom and dad dude like that's what i'm saying like their mom and dad stayed together for how long 
them having to witness how they interacted and how they argued and how the father would leave and wouldn't say anything and Tamar has abandonment issues she acts like really like I was like Tamar needs to smoke like take some type of CBD or something to calm her down because being like that all the time I was like she has to leave these interviews and be exhausted because she's on all the time and it's like girl take that mask off take it off Tamar and like I said they they seem like they are over Tamar and they seem like they're at the point that they have you know how when you are dealing with a parent that your personalities don't get a, don't match you and your parents personalities don't match and there's always conflict and you don't want to deal with that parents bullshit so you don't come around but other people in the family who talk to you encourage you encourages you to continue the re the toxic relationship because that's just who your mother or your father are that's just who they are that's just who they are and except this toxic this toxic ass person you're obligated to this person because that's your parent and then let's tie in religion and tell you that the bible says to obey your parent but they don't talk about abuse of parents, do they? Because who tells anybody to stay in a toxic relationship? If you wouldn't tell a woman to stay in a toxic relationship with a man, why would you tell her to stay in a toxic relationship with her father? If you would tell a man not to stay in a toxic relationship with a woman or a woman not to stay in a toxic relationship with a woman, why would you tell her to stay in a toxic, the first relationship they have with another person is their parent? And the relationship is toxic and you keep encouraging them to stay in the toxic relationship how do you think they're gonna deal with other relationships in their lives how do you think that what how, what kind of relationships do you think they're gonna in, involve themselves with or participate in because you told them the first people that they've had relationships with to deal with their toxicity because that's just who they are I said Tamar and Tracy need counseling, just them two together, because they really mirror each other. They really are mirroring each other's pain, you know? Um, I just spilled coffee. They are mirroring each other's pain, and it's, it's, it's sad. It's really sad. I was like, ooh, um, that's not cool. I don't know what. I don't have no tissues in here. And I don't want to use this. Let me see what's in here. But yeah, I was like, I couldn't watch this. <laughs> I couldn't watch this because it's like, and let me tell you what else it represents. The Cecilic relationship. And I'm so glad that this, these women have found men to to really genuinely love them I don't understand this man with Tamar I don't any <sighs> she's so worried about protecting his image but look how you're treating him on camera like do you not think that your behavior you think your behavior is acceptable putting your hand then this man is an executive you're protecting his image. You don't want him around cigarette smoke or smoking cigars because your clients are against smoking. But don't you think his clients might be against emotional, like, degradation? Like, like you're being degrading to your husband. Like, what? Or your boyfriend or whoever the fuck he is. Why are you acting like this on camera? I understand her saying... You know, I want to protect your image, you know, but then her thinking that Tracy was trying to set them up just because he offered them, they offered them cigars. And even if he doesn't smoke, if somebody gives you a cigar as a gift, it's a gesture, a friendly gesture. These are men trying, men who all have one thing in common. They're dating sisters. And here's this brotherhood type of deal going on. Those other men were not like that at all. The Tawanda's husband, 
Tracy's husband, I mean, not Tracy, well, Tracy's husband never came around. And now these new group of men, I was like, okay, they got the, the husbands actually, or the boyfriends actually filming. Tawanda with her acting like, she, I don't, is she pregnant? But this idea that you can't, you, you, if you think you're pregnant, you think you're pregnant, but you don't want anybody to know, you're going to take the, the drink to your mouth and sip. Come on, Tawanda. You want people to, you want that. Like, I was like, ugh, Tawanda's, ugh, girl, who gives a fuck? Have a sip. You want somebody to keep asking you if you're pregnant? If you don't want anybody to ask you that you're pregnant, fake like you're drinking the alcohol, bitch, and shut the fuck up. Like, I was like, ugh, Tawanda, bye, girl. That shit turned me the fuck up. I was like, girl, you can act like you're drinking. What are you talking about? Shut up. Shut up. Tawanda is irking me. What sign is she? Tawanda, I was like, Tawanda, something about Tawanda. She's sneaky. I don't know what it is. I felt I get a sneaky vibe from her. You always wanting to step out like you not a part of this problem. You part of this problem. Every girl, every sister plays a role. And it's like the role that they're playing, they're committed to, right? Like Tony is Tony the oldest. I feel like Tony's the oldest, but I feel like Tracy's the oldest. Maybe Tracy just looks oldest because she just had babies early and just is tired as fuck. I don't know. But the shit is crazy. This shit, I was like, this is crazy. These people are crazy, child. And I'm like, every every season, it's a it's a cycle, it's a cyclic loop that they're in of toxicity. I don't blame um it does Birdman eventually come on the show? Because I was like, ooh, Tawanda, Tracy, Trina, Tamar, and Tony. Is that the names? I would have been beat up Tamar. Child, we would have been fought. We would have it wouldn't I wouldn't I would have been I would have been hit her right in her damn throat. Just like that. Bow! Right in her throat. Girl, you doing too much talking. That throat chakra is too is too much. It's too much. Shut it up. <laughs> Shut that shit up, girl. Tamar needs a she needs some reefer, honey. That bitch is on 10 all the time. I was like, girl, you cannot how? How? How can you be like that? And how can that man deal with her? How can I don't even get it? I don't even what kind of man or anyone, not even a, like but listen. As a sister, as a friend, as a partner, Tamar's personality is exhausting. She drains the fuck out of people. Like, everybody sitting at that table when she was talking about, what was she saying? I'm used to getting bags of this, no balloons, hey, da, 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 all this other stuff. They looking like, girl, please, we brought you up here like, what do you want? And then the fact that you don't want anybody to say anything to Tracy about her birthday, like that shit is stupid. That shit is stupid. And then getting mad, Tamar kisses fucking Tracy, Trina, kisses her, and then curses her when she walks away from her. I said, oh no, bitch. We connect, we not, they're not even friends. Like they are not even good female friends to each other like where and then you know you always think like I used to always say like I wish I had closer siblings because I'm kind of like in the middle I'm second but I'm still like in the middle because of the age gaps between my siblings and myself so I've been like and even with my cousins I'm just all oh, I'm just the one like right in the middle with nobody really to relate to and I've always wanted to feel like I had close sisters or cl a close relationship with my siblings right like and and you think that that's what you want and then you look at Tamar and them and it's like mm -mm. You so, I, and I wonder like is there an example of a healthy familial dynamic with sisters like that because of course there's going to be conflict and no one's saying there's not going to be conflict but I was just watching that like this is exhausting watching them like and Tracy and Tamar I know I've said it 500 times but they act just alike am I the only one that am I the only one who see I, and you know I don't watch the show I just watched the last two episodes that came on since it was in Napa if I was that man 
Trace Tamar's partner. I was just looking at him like, dude, are you sure you want to do this? Because that bitch is out of control. I don't see how any person would want to be in any in any kind of relationship with Tamar other than like a, a friend that I can I don't have to be around all the time. You know, you understand? Because Tamar is fun. You know what I mean? She's fun. She has a she has a fun personality. But as soon as she feels like something is against her, she really just wrecks the whole fucking vibe. And nobody checks her like, no, sit your ass down. Like, come on, have some respect. You out here, you talking too much. Nobody you're you're how old is Tamar? 40 years old? You 40 years old? complaining about your sisters not buying you Gucci bags and, and having a balloon for you. Bitch, sit down. We're here. This whole trip is, is very expensive. You in Napa Valley, bitch. What the fuck? And staying in this nice ass house like, girl. And I'm like, what are you expecting? I just was like, I, as a man, I, I mean like a man looking at like are you sure that's what that's a person you want to be in a relationship with? This is how she is with her family. And that's the reason why Tamar didn't want him by himself with her family. Because she she he doesn't know how she is. Just a different person he sees. He sees a different person than than what than the character that she plays in her family dynamic. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's a different person. And that's why people are, are leery when they take their, their partners around family members. Because you are a different, there's a different dynamic to the person when they're in a relationship versus when they're around their family. And if they don't feel safe around their family, like Tamar doesn't feel safe around her family. Neither does Trina. Tracy. Neither does Tracy. They, she doesn't feel safe around her family. And neither does Tamar. So... You're bringing somebody around that you're in a relationship with to people that you don't feel safe around. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't even know. I don't know. But he was taken up for Tamar in the in the marriage proposal. But I'm with the, the boyfriend with the marriage proposal. It's like, we already said happy birthday to you. This is a, a wonderful moment. We have all of your family around. What? Why wouldn't you propose marriage at that time? No, it's not taking the light off of anybody. We already sang happy birthday to you, bitch. I don't get it. Like, I was like, Tamar is out of control. Tamar is out of control. And the, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. And I'm just watching them like, this is crazy. How do y'all watch that every week? Them bitches get on. They, they, because I was just like, whoo. I had to wait in between episodes to watch the next episode. I was like, because this is a lot. I was embarrassed for him, for Tamar's boyfriend. I was embarrassed for Tamar. And then, like, Tamar saying something about Tracy's husband being in jail. You need to go back to jail, home, your homeboy. And he was like, that's why I don't even talk to you. See, he'd been around for so long. He knows not to get involved because he knows they're not, nobody has done anything to fix it. All them TD Jakes, Iyanla, Dr. Deborah, is that her name? All of them, that's for sh that's for this TV show. These girls have no interest in healing their relationships. All of them are committed to the role that they have been assigned in their family dynamic, and that's what it is. And that and that's where it's gonna stay. And and that's why Tony and Tracy, Tracy said, you know, I can I can disappear. You know, I know I know how to disappear. I know how to not come around. I know how to do that. But Tracy's husband is over it. And he and like he was trying to tell dude, like, dude, don't get involved with this. These sisters are not going to do it. They not Nobody is interested in healing. I think I think they're so so in it like the the fucking the ivy has just overcome them. It's gotten out of control and what's that plant kudzu that you a if it gets it it'll it'll just go over everything. That's their toxicity. It has covered their whole family and it's too nobody's going to be able to get in to fix it. It's it's out of control. It's crazy.
that was crazy I was like okay I don't know how y'all watch Braxton Family Values this is crazy and they need to change the name of the damn show they need to change the name of the goddamn show because that ain't nothing family values and I know families have issues but these girls they don't they don't want to they don't want to um they don't want to fix it Tawanda y'all tell me what Tawanda's sign is and tell me is she sneaky and or I'm, I'm just misreading her 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 behavior so she seems like a sneaky little I don't want to be involved but you be involved like that's why I was like why is Tracy cussing her out because T- Tawanda don't seem like she don't really get involved in the bullshit and I said no she probably the main fucking one the main goddamn one I don't know it's a it's a it's a mess it is a mess that Tamar oof I don't see how how she got uh, I don't know and he's just so nice that's why I love her I was like oh Tamar what did you do <laughs> to him and he wants to take her back to Nigeria did, do you think his mom will see that how you was covering her son's mouth and ripping shit out of his hands and stuff what you think how you think that Nigerian mother is gonna accept you black American girl <laughs> you think that's gonna work and she sees you grabbing shit out of her son's hand and shit tamar is a trip y'all tell me what y'all thought of those last two episodes and we could get down in the comments and finish talking about it because that shit was crazy to me we'll talk to y'all later peace take care of each other